Today's Bible study is titled Confidence in You Through the Lord. Paul has shown the results of grace living and something that attempted law living could not accomplish, namely faith which worketh by love. And that living in simple belief by grace through faith is the only living that works and results in the Holy Spirit's fruit of love. With this understood, we continue. I have confidence in you through the Lord, that ye will be none otherwise minded, but he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be. And I, brethren, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Then is the offense of the cross ceased. I would they were even cut off which trouble you. Galatians 5 verses 10 to 12. Let's dig in. Despite the efforts of the, some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ, Galatians 1 verse 7, Paul expresses that he has confidence in you through the Lord. And do not miss this for our only confidence is in Christ and through Christ as further illuminated in the three following ways. 1. Having absolutely no confidence in the flesh, similarly to what Paul shared with the Philippian believers for we are the circumcision, which worship God in the Spirit, and rejoice in Christ Jesus, and have no confidence in the flesh. Philippians 3 verse 3. 2. And his confidence in the Galatian believers through the Lord is such that they will heed what he is writing in this epistle and will be none otherwise minded. 3. Finally, his confidence through the Lord is that he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment, whosoever he be, example, make no mistake, the teaching of false doctrine as was being done by them of the circumcision, causes judgment due to inviting the ministry of condemnation that is the law. Paul then reminds them of the persecution that he routinely faces from the Jews for preaching only the gospel of the grace of God, example, contrary to the gospel of the kingdom, post-Israel's conclusion in unbelief. And he asks the obvious question, if those troubling the Galatians have implied that they are preaching the same message as Paul, then why is Paul still persecuted by them? For if Paul were preaching the law and circumcision obedience, the offense of the cross, namely grace via the cross of Christ, would no longer be offending to them of the circumcision. Finally, in what almost seems frustration, but is more likely a play on words, Paul states that if these that troubled the Galatians were so intent on the cutting away of the foreskin in physical circumcision, then why don't they just cut everything off? That statement probably got their undivided attention. Believer, be none otherwise minded than the instruction of Paul to the Galatians and to us. Thank you for watching today's Bible study. Mm-hmm.